So, what's up? I wanted to address the what's it called? Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. I just got a couple questions, you know, because I make music too. So, I wrote down a couple of questions on my phone. Uh, clearly, uh, they're like large paragraphs, and I want to get into this. So I'll try to keep it short and sweet, simple. But these are long paragraphs. So my first, uh, my first number one question is, uh, what is cell block one? Okay, what is that? What is cell block one? Like, I've been, I've been, uh, jail, and I want to know, what is cell block one? You know? Uh, is that like the holding cell? Like, what is that? Okay, so, you started off the song real strong, but you ended it kind of lame. Uh, why is that? Why why did it end that way? Um, because it wasn't uh, it wasn't that good. You know, I listened to the song a couple times, and I'm like, oh, okay, boom. I don't think the song is that good. Okay, so um, I'm all about wordplay, and there was a little bit of wordplay, not too much wordplay, um, mostly punchlines and some obvious blunt things um said which um i just feel like you kind of a little bit uh was spiteful uh to drake um you chose drake as your target uh where does the animosity stem from uh especially if uh, y'all collaborated on a song, um, and I'm pretty sure that a number of other songs as well, um, Poetic Justice, right, um, and the same thing with J. Cole, uh, In the Morning, and some other songs, if Drake is the biggest artist in the world, are you going to croon to him in order to get you a feature, to get you your next hit. Hmm? Hmm? You know you're gonna be looking for one. Um, where does the animosity stem from? Where do, where does that, that, that come from? Because if we look at you physically, which I've, um, I've been to your concerts and I'm gonna be real with you. I've seen you in person. I've never been to a Drake concert before, ever in my life. Okay, uh, maybe back in the day at the Icebreaker. I think he performed at the Icebreaker. We seen him at the Icebreaker. Uh, he was up on the thing at the uh, the home plate. I think Blue Stone. Um, I forget what it was called. But that that guy, man, he been popping. You had to get popping. You had to get popping, okay? I turn your shit off. You got so many songs. You were screaming on us. So I talk about so ah ah. You got problems, and you was like, "What's that?" You said loving you is complicated. You have issues yourself, and I feel like when you point the finger at something, you got three pointing back at you, and you should have civility and humility. You need to be humble. You need to be humble and sit down. Uh, didn't you make that a song? Be humble and sit down. Um, and when you speak about people's people, you could get peopled. You could get peopled. So, I'm gonna have to lose all because it just gets me kind of like grinds my gears a little bit when a person speaks negatively about somebody they don't even probably fucking know. You don't even probably fucking know that nigga, bro. On some real shit, do you know that nigga? Do you sleep with the bed with that nigga? Like, what is go what is the whole issue? <laughs> it's given, it's given, babe. It's given, hun. But you. You were a thorn crowd. Never forget that. How you thought you were in the flesh. Let me tell you something. 
Don't play about. Don't play with me. You don't play with me. About. Not. But shit. Don't even play my song. How about that? Okay? How about that? How about that? Don't play my songs. You were a foreign crown? Who do you let me get off of here, okay? Alright. Peace. New music soon. It ain't gonna be no Kendrick Lamar this. Oh! And your label owner was my friend on Facebook from TDE. Your label owner from TDE was my friend on Facebook. Small world. Watch that. Watch your mouth, okay? Watch your mouth. Watch what you say. Watch what you say! Watch what you say. Okay? Watch your mouth. And watch your back.